Det er everyone out there. This is Tom Søndergaard. And I'm talking to you from a prison phone in Vegas County Detention Center, where I've now been detained for 98 days. And I, my lawyers, and my legal team still don't know why I'm here. Why was I detained? And why did they deny me coming out on a bond? They say so many crazy things in all of this. I am leader of the Christian ministry, the last reformation. I've served God for many years in over 40 nations where I've been preaching the gospel of Christ and making disciples. But I had never experienced anything like what I am experiencing now. Because of persecution in Denmark from the government, I came to the United States of America three and a half years ago. January 26, 2019. After waiting for my asylum interview for over three and a half years, I got a letter three months ago from Homeland Security that they would like to discuss my immigration status at a meeting in Orlando on June 30. I traveled from California, where I'm now a resident, to Orlando, Florida, to attend the meeting. But to my big surprise, there was nothing about my asylum case. And one of them said, okay, the reason you are here is that we have been told you have been smuggling weapons from Mexico to America. And I was thinking, what? Smuggling weapons? I know nothing about weapons or smuggling weapons. My only connection to Mexico is a small missionary training school we launched in Rosarito. And the only thing we brought over the border back to America were beautiful testimonies about what God did in Mexico. But we had nothing to do with smuggling weapons. And I don't know anyone who had anything to do with smuggling weapons. I have never traveled to Mexico. And I've never crossed the border from the United States to Mexico. And my passport shows the proof of that. A few minutes later, one said, you are not going home today. We are detaining you. And then he was just up against the wall, handcuffs on. And now I'm still detained. Staying alone in a cell, eight times 13 feet. I really thought in the beginning that I will go out in a few days because I have not smuggling weapons or done anything criminal. And I was sure that the whole thing would just fall to the ground very, very soon. There is no criminal case against me at all. But I'm still here. I'm still locked up away from my family. And the life out there, I love. And I still don't know why I'm here. And I'm still waiting for my asylum case to go to court, which can take many months. And why did they deny me coming out on a bond when I'm seeing so many other people in here go out on a bond? I've been locked up with people who came from prison, where they have been in prison for 25 years for murder. People who have done very bad thing. But me, Jesus transformed my life 27 years ago. I've been married with the same woman for 25 years. I have three kids and three beautiful grandkids. I have never been charged of anything criminal. I have never taken any drugs and I'm not a danger to anyone. But I'm still here. Why? Please help me out there to spread this video. Make people aware of this so I can get help to come out and be with my family. A new website has been made called friendsoftorben.com where you can find so much more info of how you can help me and my family. There's also info about my asylum case if you want to read about that. This is much bigger than just one person. There's something completely wrong here. Please spread this video. Please go to the website friendsoftorben.com and send a letter and read out to us. This is not easy for me and my family. 
So we thank you all for your help and your prayers. Please share this with as many people as possible. Miss you all. Talk to you